Assessing a suspected groin strain usually starts with a full history of the current injury, previous injuries and medical conditions. This is followed by the objective or physical assessment. The therapist observes and palpates or feels the muscles looking for muscle tension, gaps in the muscle, swelling, discoloration, increased temperature and tenderness or pain. Following this, they may look at the range of motion at the hip joint. Taking the leg out to the side stretches the groin muscles. This may be uncomfortable following a groin strain and the range of motion is usually decreased compared to the opposite side. Taking the leg out with the knee bent tests the short groin muscles as well. Finally, resisted muscle tests are used. For a groin strain, the therapist resists as the patient tries to pull the leg into the centre. This may cause pain and may be weaker than the opposite side if a groin strain is present.